Hi guys, um, quick look at the antenna that I use at BLF. This is the actual antenna that I use. Um, it's got a 75 ohm output um, F style connector and I use RG6 quad shield 75 ohm cable to connect this to the uh, receiver. Now this particular type of antenna is called an active e-probe antenna. It does actually have some electronics inside the tube uh, for amplification purposes. It's uh, pretty much designed for VLF operation, although it does actually receive, uh, you know, all the way up to about 10 or 15 megahertz. But the sensitivity does drop off as you go higher in frequency. It really is designed, and I would really only recommend it for uh, use on VLF. Uh, you can also use it on medium wave for uh, DXing. It's very, very sensitive. Um, that antenna needs 12 volts to operate. And the 12 volts for the antenna is actually supplied by this uh, power injector, which comes with the antenna. Um, it's an F connector there as well, so the coaxial cable, your long run of coax from the receiver, from near the receiver to the antenna actually connects between here and, and that point there. Uh, the other side of this is a BNC, so 50 ohm patch lead, whatever length you want, to your receiver. There's a receptacle there for 12 volts. You can supply 12 volts via a plug pack or your station power supply or batteries, whatever you like. LED that tells you when the actual power is on. And uh, yeah, the uh, BNC there socket actually connects to your receiver. And uh, apart from powering the antenna, it also transfers the RF, the received signals from the antenna into your receiver. Um, I've got a few of these, I, I made five initially and I'm really only using one so uh, I've got a, a few there that I, I'm happy to sell or swap with uh, any other VLF enthusiasts out there so uh, you can contact me via the uh, email address at the end of this video.